I never really knew my Uncle Pete. Ten years ago, he dropped acid and went to the zoo. No one really knows exactly what happened, but they found his pants in the penguin cage. He's been in a coma ever since. Last week he died, and left me with a hundred acres of land. Apparently there used to be an old camp there from the 60s. Now it's just a bunch of rusty old cabins, a pool filled with some mud, and a little bit of poop. The court gave us about a week to figure out what we want to do with it. So now the question is, what am I going to do with a hundred acres of land in an abandoned camp? Build a studio and make some porn. What? Don't judge me. Wait, no, hold on, got it. Okay. What did we all want when we were kids? Slip and slide. A bottle of schnapps and a lightsaber? A tree fort with good air conditioning? But, uh, close, but no. <laughs> Ponies! Hello? Every little kid wants a pony. I read in this magazine that I was reading about these guys in Vermont who started a pony farm, and now they are just rolling in dough. Oh yeah, that's not all they're rolling in. Guys, I'm serious, alright? This could be an opportunity for us to do something great. I mean, all this land in front of us. Why don't we do something? Why don't we... Why don't we make our own summer camp? Who's gonna want to come to a camp run by us? Especially with this guy whose cousin has a restraining order against him. Oh, come on now, that kid's a douche. Guys, uh, listen to me, alright? Think about it, camp was the greatest time of our lives, you know? It's a time where you get to hang out with your buds, meet girls, play sports, pee outside. I mean, Brad, you lost your virginity at camp. Mrs. Helgebund. I called her torpedoes. Talk about regrets. And Lance, I mean, you learned quite a bit your first time at camp. I became a man at camp. I learned what happens when a lost little boy who's afraid of bears is comforted by an older You know what happened to me at camp. And Tyler. Tyler, I mean... Did you even go to camp? You slip, and you slide, you hit the bump, and take a dive! Guys, this is great! Let's do it! I'm in! Lance, you in? I'm in. Brad? I'm in. Guys, let's make a camp. So that was it. We were going to make our very own summer camp. The first thing we needed was money, and lots of it. Hey, Mom? What? Uh, I decided I'm going to go to college. That's great! What college? <laughs> Squigamatch University. It's in Topeka. Well, I think your father went there. Cool. Uh, yeah, I need all four years tuition right now, though. It's like $240,000. Money's in the underwear drawer. Okay. We held interviews for camp counselors. I love kids. Um, I've been babysitting for about four months. And I, I want to have kids one day. Kids are the best. Oh, yeah. 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 Kids are the best. Best. Kids are the, kids are the best. <laughs> Well, I feel I have a very strong rapport with children. I'm an expert at D&D, that's Dungeons and Dragons. I have an extensive comic book collection. I'm also very fond of Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I'm also an expert on moss, the wildlife. Oh, and I have a compass that tells the time and barometric pressure. We also made very precise decisions about the fabric for the camp. Looks like an elephant's ass. Oh, we're on a picnic. Who fell in the mud? Gee, the Navy! Nice work, Stevie Wonder. Everything seemed to be falling into place. There was just one more thing we had to figure out. So what are we going to call it? We need something that, that just, just screams fun. Let me tell you about a place you can go to. It's called Fun Camp. It's a camp, it's a lot, a lot of fun. You can shoot some balls and arrows. Fun camp, oh, fun camp is a place that you can do a lot of fun stuff at all. Take a ride on a boat, go down a slide, touch a goat. Fun camp, ah, I remember fun camp. What a fun, fun time!